In this mentoring moment, I want to talk to you about professionals. In the last one, we talked about friends. You need friends inside the church and outside the church. You need some professionals in your life too, a coach and a counselor, and they're different. A coach is going to help you with specific kinds of strategies and is going to help you get where you want to go. The best coach will draw out of you what you feel called to do, and they'll, they'll understand your convictions, they'll be a good listener, and then they're gonna help hold you accountable to all the things you said you wanted to do and help you strategize around ways to get there. Everybody needs a coach and it's worth paying for. Ideally, you'd meet with your coach at least every other week, maybe two times a month. And in the Union Chapel Church Planting Network, you have a coach assigned to you. Uh, for many of you, that's been Robin. And so when you have a coach that is like a situation expert on the things that you're trying to do, it's, it's so helpful. They can, they can help you think through things you might think, not think of otherwise. They can save your bacon sometimes. And if you get out there and things are tough, uh, they'll be the first one to encourage you and help you get back on track. So I hope that you have a coach. In my life, I had several different coaches over different times and also different coaches related to the different kinds of things we were trying to do in ministry over the years. Many times, I could hardly wait to the next meeting with my coach. I would write notes. It was my favorite part of, of that week. And it was such a lift. And I just hope that you have someone like that. If you don't in your life, you need one. So we need, we need a coach. We also need a counselor, someone who can hear your heart, someone who asks questions that might be uncomfortable, someone who's going to draw out of you things you might not even thought of, and someone who's going to help you be your best. A good counselor will give you unconditional kind of love and feedback and support. And so I encourage you to have a Christian counselor. And one of the same sex is usually best. Although I will add that my wife and I, when we struggled in our marriage, which happened multiple times, we actually went to a counselor together. So you may even have a couple of different counselors over time. I can think of three counselors who had really wonderful input into my life. The, the benefit, one of the benefits of a counselor is when you've met with someone and you kind of told them the story of your life, the next thing that happens, you don't, have to, you don't have to start from the beginning. If you're meeting with a friend or you're meeting with someone you're trying to tell them about the latest thing in your life, sometimes you feel like, I don't know where to start the story. But when you have a counselor and you've had a good relationship with them over time and they've spoken truth into your life and you can trust them and go anywhere with them and you know it's not going to go anywhere but with them, then you can just start where you are. And so I encourage everybody to have a relationship with a, a counselor. And this person will, will probably save your life in some ways. So when you're, you're working out your paper, I ask you to get a paper, draw seven circles, one circle is for a friend outside the ministry, one is for one inside, one is for a coach, and one is for a counselor. I hope you're filling in your circles. And uh, next we're going, to we're going to talk about the importance of having a mentor and an intercessor.